specialty chemical manufacturer Fine Organics is the other company headed to the primary markets today. Yash Upadhyay is standing by with all that you need to know about the company. Yash, seems like this is aimed at giving investors an exit. Company will not be uh, getting any money, will it? Yeah, so it's a 100% offer for sale when the promoters, they would be selling uh, close to 76.5 lakh shares in the company or about 25% stake with the price band being fixed at about 780 to 783. Now at the upper end of the price band, the market cap of the company on listing stands at about 2400 crores. Uh, the offer has received a good response with the company raising close to 180 crores from the anchor investors which includes the likes of Goldman Sachs, DSP BlackRock, SBI Mutual Fund and others. But let's take a look at what the company does. Basically, it's a specialty chemical manufacturer is the largest oleo chemical based active manufacturer in India and amongst the very few players globally. It has a range of 387 different products which it sells under the brand Fine Organics. Now these products, they have application in several industries including plastic, food, cosmetics and pharmaceutical, paints, ink, coatings and others. Let's, take, let's also take a look at their product wise uh, uh, revenues and plastics and polymer business that gives us, uh, that gives it 72% of its top line while the balance 28% comes from the food and other business. Uh, when it comes to their reach, uh, well, it has an extensive distribution network with 603 direct customers, which includes the likes of multinational and uh, regional consumer product manufacturers such as Hindustan, Unilever, Parley and other petrochemical and polymer players globally. It also has 127 distributors in 67 countries catering to the needs of 5,000 customers. Uh, it manages to do so with three production facilities located in and around Mumbai, having a total installed capacity of about 64,000 tons operating at optimum utilization of about 100%. Okay, Yash, uh, tell us more about the company's financials and what our brokerage is saying about it. Yeah, so the, their revenues, they have gone from about 500 crores in the f for the full year of FI13 to almost 600 crores for the latest nine-month ended FI18. Their EBITDA has doubled from 50 to 100 crores. Their margins, they have improved significantly. They were in the range of 20 to 22 percent over the last two years and profit, that has also tripled. On a compounded annual basis, their revenue, that has grown by about 9.4 percent over FI13 to FI17. Their EBITDA has grown by 24 percent while their net profit that has grown by as much as 30 percent. Well, let's also take a look at uh, the return ratio. Uh, first up, the company is completely debt free. So it has healthy uh, return ratios. It's given a return on equity of 22 percent, a return on capital employed of 33 percent and return on asset of 16 percent. So good double digit growth there. And when it comes to valuations, well, it does not have any direct peers because it, it operates in a very niche segment of the specialty chemical business. But its closest peer happens to be galaxy surfactants. Uh, when it comes to its price to earning multiple at the upper end of the price band, uh, it's FI. 18 price to earnings stands at about 23.2 times. On a price to book basis, it stands at about 6.6 .6 times. On an EV to EBITDA, it's about 17 times and 3.1 times its market cap to sales. I was going through one of the brokerage reports and they believe that these are valuations which are fairly similar to what most of the other listed specialty chemical manufacturers are, if that is something that you want to know. Uh, but what the other brokerages have to say, well, Angel Broking, they have a neutral view on the issue, while ICICI Direct, they have a subscribe rating uh, wherein they expect the company to continue to grow at the current level uh, on the back of its expansion plans and robust product demand.